In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how you can transfer semantic property groups from one document to the other using the semantic plugin. Um, in this particular setup, you can see I have a number of surfaces that have these different property groups assigned. So we have a building program that's been assigned and a design settings group that's been defined. And what I want to do is I want to transfer these into another file that doesn't have any property groups. So I have this um, Rhino file here where you can see that if I click on these objects, there are no property groups. And if I click into the property group manager, there are no uh, semantic property groups uh, that I can assign to outside of the uh, default internal ones. So what I'm gonna do is go back to this file here that has a set of property groups, and I'm gonna activate the property group manager. And what you'll see is that I have this building program group and this design setting group, and there's this ability to export any given semantic property group. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this arrow button under the export column. And this is gonna prompt me to save a semantic class data file. And here you can see it's been auto named based on the group um, name that it has. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And I'm gonna go ahead and overwrite the existing one that I have here. And I'm gonna jump into my other file. And now I want to import that group. So I can go to the property group manager in this other document and under this plus sign here where it says add new property group I'm going to import a property group and here you can see I have my building program. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and hit open and now I have this grouping of properties available to me. I can even go in and edit it and see that I have a set of you know those defined uh, properties in that group and what I want to do now is simply select these objects and assign them. And what you'll see here is that after assigning those objects to the property group, they now have inherited those property values uh, that were in the previous document. And I can now go through this exercise of, you know, assigning different categories and changing things up um, within the semantic interface. So this becomes a very convenient way for establishing semantic data templates. So if you know you're going to be using a set of properties across different projects, you may want to establish these property groups and then export them uh, to some data files so you can bring them into other documents and, and use them uh, for, for different purposes. So it's a great way to start reusing uh, these properties in other environments so you don't have to keep reinventing the wheel.